Yes. Mr. Tara, welcome to House Labor. Uh, welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'll just make a couple points. Uh, first of all, of all the people that testified before me, one person served tables in Rhode Island at Ruth Chris, and he said he made good money. The other person had 43 jobs in 11 years in the restaurant industry. Maybe the correlation to money to performance, 43, would anybody here hire somebody who had 43 jobs in 11 years? So I think the, the I would point, I would just ask you to, to concentrate on the bill and not the other. Uh, uh, the, I, I understand. And I understand. But it, it goes to a point. There's a lot of passion. Is, where is the problem? Well, who's where is who is here in the industry stating there's a problem? That is why I brought that up. Only because that's a fair, it, that's it, a germane point. The, but, but just, oh, I'm sorry. Then I sorry. I should have said that. But I was getting to the point is, I don't think there is a problem. I I, I don't I don't take Rock's word for it, and don't take my word for it. Don't take the hospitality. Don't take right blue. Tomorrow, go to dinner and ask the server. Ask to serve the next day. Don't ask would you like a raise. Everybody would like one. Ask them. I work in 11 restaurants in my life. Front of the house people have always made the most, period. My average tipped employee makes $20. That's on a $1.4 million worth of tips. My average non-tipped makes $14. This is not going to help the people making the most. This is going to help the people making the least. I have 140 employees. Do not pay one of them minimum wage. You've never seen me at a minimum wage conversation. Not one. But am I going to be able to pay that dishwasher 12 if I have to pay the person making 25, 27? Last point. I had 72,000 tipped wages last year, hours, times 610. and. $50,000 plus workers comp, 500000 I could take zero profit, and my brother could take zero, and we'd owe the restaurants plenty of money. There's no problem if they want to raise minimum wage and that make it, that's the story. But wage gratuities, and then I'll finish, are seen as income by the federal government and by the state government. They can't have it both ways. We pay payroll taxes on it because it's seen as an income, and so do they. But yet now it isn't. It's only 289. No, we're all in the restaurant together. That total wage they make is because of the efforts of everybody in the restaurant, and that's how the business model got created. And I think all servers you talk to, not most of them, will say they like the model the way it is. Thank you very much, Mr. Taro. Any questions for Mr. Taro? Represent Vice Chairman Palangio. I guess I have a comment and a question, yeah. but maybe, maybe you're correct. Maybe there isn't a problem. Maybe there is, but that's the beautiful thing that we do here. We vet things, and many times constituents bring a, a, a question or, or a proposal to us, and we think about it. If we think it's if we think it's something worthwhile, we bring it before our body and we vet it. And that's the beautiful thing about democracy and what we do here. That's the first thing. But I think it's um, this whole idea of, uh, I mean, I'm kind of learning as we're going along. It's like almost, there's so many, it seems like it's bringing up more questions than answers in reference to uh, you have to pay them $9 an hour regardless um, of how much they're making, at least $9 an hour, regardless of how much, how much they're making. Um, and then some people are saying, um, some of the people that work in the industry, uh, servers, are saying they don't want to say anything because they're frightened of losing their jobs. I don't know if that's true or not true, but people are, you know, some of these folks are saying this. In addition to that, <clears throat> it almost seems there's a difference between a restaurant such as yours or, or Mr. LK's uh, and like an IHOP or a Friendly's or, uh, you know, someone who's who's working at a place where they have, I don't know, uh, five or seven dollar dinners if you will, or, or nine, you know, a, a friendly type thing. And it's a different type of server in, a, in an industry uh, such as that versus fine dining. And I, I, I venture to say that the fine dining person, as you stated yourself, is probably $20 an hour. Let ask you a question. If you were to eliminate tips in, in their entirety, what do you think the job of being a server at an establish, establishment such as yours is worth? If you just said there'll be no tipping and I'm going to pay the employee what they're actually worth, 
that's probably worth more than minimum wage. Uh, even even current minimum wage at nine dollars are probably worth fifteen or because yeah, it's hard work. Yeah, and I, if I could just just to the points you made first is when I testified the last time here, I got emails. I was on progressive blogs. There's a penalty to us coming here, so it can't be well they couldn't come here. It's not easy for business guys in this state to get up because, as you heard today, we're sexual harassers, we're stealing, we're thefts. That was direct testimony. It's not easy for us to come here either, so we shouldn't get penalized for coming, but yet they get a pass for not coming. Two is, the, the answer would be is, that will be what will happen. If you ask me if the wage goes up, I cannot justify paying servers more and not paying cooks more. The divide will go. So what, if you look at the trends in the industry and you Google non-tipping restaurants, it's growing in all these cities. They said the industry is great. No, five-star great restaurants are getting rid of tips. It says it right there. Hey, what? Uh, what? Tips. They're eliminating tips. And the servers make less money because that's what's going to happen. I'm not going to keep – I can't do – I'm not going to raise my prices as a business owner to pay a person – who's making $25 an hour, $9 an hour, because that's a total package. I look at it that way. I'll put a charge, and I'll distribute it. Right now, the way the law is, I can't do that. I can't take tip pulling. That's the hill, pill we we heard the other day. So which way do they want it? You can't have both all the tips and the higher salary because the business model doesn't work. So what is the, what would I do? I don't know, but it... It'd be in the high teens, and we'd lose some servers. Mm -hmm. Quality of service would go down. But I don't think my restaurant, when I get 35% of my customers on a weekend from Massachusetts to say, it's better for me to come here than go to Boston, are going to feel the same way if my price goes up 20%. I think they'll say, well, I'll stay home. So I'll make my model work. The people before us were right. We're not all going to go out of business. We'll find – I actually think the ironic thing is – if this bill goes through the way they want, servers will make less money. There's no doubt now. It might be a more stable paycheck. They will make less money. And we will less service. What? And we'll have less service. We will pay them 16 bucks an hour, and the person at Siena that was making 25 will now make 15, and I'll charge 17 percent on your bill, and I'll spread it how I like because it's no different than cost bought and put into at CVS. You don't know who gets paid what. So that will be the outcome because, you know, we, we, the gap, we already have front of the house, back of the house issues because the back of the house resents how much the servers make. That's been true of every restaurant I've worked, and they all haven't been Sienna. Because it, it, it is, you know, untangling this whole thing. Is is a is an educational experience for many of us here. So I, I going to change the paradigm and how we do business totally. I, I think it's what restaurant owners should have met is that that wage, that tip is part of their wage. It's a not a nice gesture the way the business model worked. But I will say, the whole team contributes to that tip. If your food takes a long time, or your host isn't there, or you wait for your table, or this, you give less of a tip. That is part, so you can say, yeah, it comes from the server, but anything you pay, whether there's a tip or not, gets paid out one way or the other to the employee. It just looks different, and I get it. It's, but at the end of the day is add that and the gratuity together. And I, the server, are there servers get, that are wrong? Yes. I mean, restaurants. But then all these people should be down at the Department of Labor and Training. In, in fighting, we have laws. Again, 140 employees, I don't pay one. Not a dishwasher, not a cleaning guy, minimum wage. That goes for me, too. And I will tell you, the establishments that don't comply with the current law are not going to comply with new laws. Any more questions? Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.